What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Tuesday afternoon, just sitting out here chilling. And you guys have been emailing me a whole bunch about the situation between Big Rob Fitness and the Delray Misfits. And you guys have been asking me about the great one's opinion about it there, as far as that situation is concerned, who's going to win. Now, I've been trying to avoid talking about Big Rob Fitness or the Delray Misfits because, you know, I think I have made a couple too many videos about Big Rob Fitness, about Delray Misfits, and about that whole situation. But, you know, I decided I wanted to go ahead and respond and give you an update as far as to my opinion, which I am now amending. Okay, so I'm just going to break it down as quick as possible because I got other shit to do. Now, there's been a lot of uh, things that should not have been done. Number one, Big Rob Fitness's address should have never been published whatsoever. Uh, you know, he has a family, I think. But in any event, you know, publishing out people's personal information and their address information, you know, that's a very dangerous thing to do. Number two, Big Rob Fitness should not have tried to contact J Masters employer. Yes, J Masters is a racist son of a bitch, but you know, at the same time, he does need a job and fucking with someone's livelihood is never a good thing because of someone's personal opinions. So what if he doesn't like black people and he uses racial slurs? You know, that trucking company didn't hire him to be a spokesperson for the company. They hired him to drive a fucking truck around. And as long as Jay Masters has his uh, truck driving license and drives a truck around there, uh, you know, anything that he says is not is obviously not going to be the opinion or representation of the company itself there. He's a truck driver, you know, and quite frankly, you know, he, all he does is he drives a truck around. So let's not go and try to attack other people's jobs here, you know. If you want to go after Jay Masters, call him out like I have called him out as a racist some bitch. But I'm certainly not going to fuck with his livelihood. Ultimately, it just comes down to one thing and one thing only. Big Rob Fitness wants to be a member of the Delray Misfits, and he feels betrayed that, you know, they've clearly let him know that he is not a Delray Misfit. And the thing about it is, is that he never even had a chance because he doesn't live in Delray Beach. He does not meet the criteria of being a Delray Misfit. The Delray Misfits, when they first started, you know, they were a bunch of gym rats here, you know, working out in the gym, talking shit and doing all sorts of antics here, you know, out in the Delray Beach there. Yes, it started out with Jason Genova and then it grew from there. You know, it's kind of scary, but, you know, in order to meet the criteria of being a Delray Misfit, in my opinion, you have to be in Delray Beach. You have to participate in their workouts as well as their antics, period. If you can't do that, then why in the world would you consider yourself to be a Delray Misfit? But more importantly, they have to accept you in as a Delray Misfit. You know, and when you try to insert yourself in a group that you have no involvement with, you know, the results are pretty much consequential. So in terms of who's going to win between Big Rob Fitness and the Delray Misfits, eh, who cares? I'm just going to sit back here and eat some popcorn and just watch everything go down. But, you know, I hope I've made myself pretty clear as far as to what my opinion is in regards to the entire situation here. And, well, I'm getting back to doing what I do best, which is sitting out and chilling. And you guys take care.